Hello, hello my friends. So good to see you for story time at the library. This story is called Pico, the unimaginary friend. Hmm. Funny, let's find out what happens in this story. The Adventures of Pico, the unimaginary friend by Dan Santat. He was born on an island far, far away where imaginary friends were created. Here, they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. Every night he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights, but his turn never came. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. So rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on until he reached the real world. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music, and everyone needed nap time. Then he finally saw something familiar, so he followed. He had a good feeling about this place. But he looked everywhere, and he could not find his friend. He climbed to the top of a tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. But no one came. He thought about how far he'd come and how long he'd waited and felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello! Oh, he got her picture. Her face was friendly and familiar and there was something about her that just felt right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before. But after a little while, they realized they were perfect together. Alice? Beagle? I'm Beagle. Hi, Beagle. Beagle and Alice had many new adventures. They shared their snacks. They told funny jokes. The world began to feel a little less strange. And together they did the unimaginable. So Beagle needed a friend to imagine him so that they could have fun together. Have you ever had an imaginary friend? I had one when I was a little girl. Her name was Judy. And Judy would help me 
if I was scared of the dark, she would sit beside me. Or if I didn't have any friends over to play with, she would play with me. And so then I felt like I was never alone. And that's a really nice feeling. So I'm glad you were here for Beagle. And I will see you next time. Bye.